Parshas Toldos. This year is dedicated to the memory of Rachaleya Bas Reb Chaim Tzvi. Let's start with Yitzchak going to Grar. We are in chapter 26, Perik Chafav, Pasuk Aleph. Vahira of Ba'aretz, and there was a famine in the land. Milvad Hara'av Harishon, Asher Hayabi Me'avraham. In addition to the first famine that was in the days of Avraham. Vayelach Yitzchak, El Abimelech, Melech Plishtim Gerara. And Yitzchak goes to Abimelech, the king of Plishtim, to Gerar. So we have a few questions about this first Pasuk that we are reading right now. We're told here that there is a famine in the land of Israel in addition to the famine that was in the time of Abraham. Our question is, why does the Pasuk link this famine in the time of Yitzchak to the famine in the time of Abraham? Our second question is, why is Yitzchak heading to Grar? Let's continue. Pasuk Bet. Vayera alav Hashem, and God appears to him, Vayomer, and he says, Al tereid mitzrayma, do not go down to Egypt. Shchon ba'aretz asher omar elecha, dwell in the land where I will tell you. Gor ba'aretz hazot, live in this land. Ve'ye imcha, and I will be with you. Ve'avar cheka, and I will bless you. Kilachal uluzaracha etenet kol ha'aretzot ha'el. Because to you and to your children I will give all these lands. Va'kimoti et ha'shvua, asher nishpati la'avraham avicha. And I will establish and fulfill the promise that I gave to Avraham, your father. And I will make your descendants multiply like the stars of the heaven. And I will give your children all these lands. And all the nations of the, of the, of the land will be blessed from your children. Because Avraham listened to my voice, and he kept or he watched my watches, mitzvotai, my mitzvot, chukotai, my chukim, vitorotai, and my teachings. And Yitzchak settled in Grar. So there is a famine in the land of Israel. Apparently, Yitzchak is going to head down to Mitzrayim just like his father Avraham did. How do we know Yitzchak was, going, was heading to Mitzrayim? Because God tells Yitzchak in Pasuk Bet, do not go down to Egypt, which means that's where Yitzchak was heading. Which leads us to another question. If Avraham was allowed to go down to Egypt when there was a famine in the land, why doesn't God want Yitzchak to go down to Egypt when there's a famine in the land? Um, our next question, which we're going to address, is the blessing that God gives Yitzchak at this point. And, we want to add, and the question we're asking is, why did Yitzchak receive this blessing at this time? And how is this blessing related to the blessings that, Avraham, that, excuse me, that God had given Avram to Birkat Avraham? And our last question which we will address is, um, why did Avraham himself merit the blessings that he got? So let's begin. Our first question that we asked is why does the Torah relate the famine that is currently in the land of Israel to the famine that was in the time of Abraham? One possibility is that sim simply this is the second famine that was ever in the land of Israel. Perhaps there never were famines before in the land of Israel. The first famine to ever take place in the land of Israel was in the time of Abraham Avinu. The second famine which took place in the land of Israel was in the time of Yitzchak. So the Torah is basically just giving us some history, but not just history, it's telling us you know, it's these big events which caused them, our ancestors to act the way they did, which is that there was the first famine in capitalization, and then there was the second famine. There were no other famines that took place in the land of Israel. Sparno expands on this idea, and he says, these were the only famines, or rather, these were the first two famines in the land of Israel that were so bad that people were actually forced to leave the land to find food. Perhaps there were other small famines, small droughts that took place at other times in the land of Israel, but never so bad that people were forced to leave the land to eat. That if they would have stayed, they would have died because there was no way they could survive without food and water. These were the first two famines where people had to leave. 
Abraham left because there was simply no food in the land of Israel. And now Yitzchak thinks he has to leave also because, again, there was no food in the land of Israel. And now we understand why Yitzchak is heading down to Egypt because there's no way he thinks that he could survive in the land of Israel. And again, we see why this famine is linked to the famine of Abraham. Yitzchak saw what his father did when there was a famine. Abraham left Eretz Yisrael. At that point, it was called Eretz Canaan. He left the land of Israel to go down to Egypt. That's how he dealt with the lack of food. Yitzchak's going to deal with it the same way. He's simply going to f- copy his father and also <coughs> go down to Egypt, which is what Ramban says 